Okay guys, so this is going to be the first of a series of tutorials building on the concept of multiplayer chat. Uh, and at the end of this tutorial series, hopefully, we're going to have a working chat system. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, just to start off this tutorial series, you will need to have a project with multiplayer already configured. I can link you a tutorial if you'd like. Uh, you can find tutorials on YouTube, plenty of that stuff, but this assumes that your project is already ported to multiplayer or was built around multiplayer in the first place, so, um, yeah, just getting that out of the way. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to create a new widget, so this is going to be a widget blueprint, and this is going to be called chat log, uh, and our chat log is just going to be this canvas here, uh, and it's going to be pretty simple. The first thing we're going to want here is we're going to want a text box. So obviously this is going to allow you to input the text you'd like, and to just type stuff into the chat. So this is going to be just centered to 0, negative 40. Uh, with the anchor being down here so that I can get that nice and you know, organized and let's increase the size to 300 like that aesthetic um, just picturing it on a larger screen I think that would look nice so that's pretty simple I'm gonna add in a button uh, and this button is just gonna be a button for my chat so it's gonna be I don't have to resize that at all. I'll change the anchoring to this. And make this one negative 40 as well. That way it's you know, flat against the bottom of the canvas. And then I'll zero this to, or I'll put this at 300. So that's going to be the um, chat box mostly. Uh, with this button, I'd like to just go see if I can change the. Um, background color a bit. I prefer like an orangish, like I did with my game. Uh, and then we'll have like a little button in here. So let's get a button, or not, not a button, I mean text, sorry. So we'll get some text and we'll just put this on here. And this text is going to read send. Um, and this little send thing here is going to be um, just set up so that I can sort of get that aesthetic and initially we're just going to be using the button to send and typing in the chat manually but I will go over how not how to um, you know take out the need for a mouse in this process so we will get to that as well if you're looking for that in this tutorial as well. Uh, next we're going to have a scroll box. Uh, so scroll box and this is just going to be in order to contain all of the messages so we can anchor this to the bottom, 0 to 0 and negative 80 and then we can increase the size on the Y to like hmm, that's 400 across, maybe I'll make this one 300 um, uh, obviously this is going to work. I need to make this 340 now. And that gives me that aesthetic I was looking for. Now I'll do 400 out on that axis. And we've got this little widget here. Uh, I'll save this. Make sure to save that all. And uh, widget blueprint, I'm going to create now another, obviously. And it's going to say chat. Uh, and this is going to be for individual chats. So we can delete the canvas. Right now we just got the widget here. So uh, now it's just going to be a box, right? Um, no, I'll just put text, right? So drop in some text. And this text is going to read. Yeah, I'll just leave it as text block. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to also make sure that this is oops, that this is saved. 
Uh, I do want to change some stuff about this text. I want to, first off, just check in here. And, um, let's see. I will, um, bind this. And I'll create a binding here. And then I'll just create a new variable in here. And it's going to be called message. This is going to be text format. Expose on spawn and editable. And message is just going to be get. So we're going to get message and put it here. That way it's linked to this message value. Um, and that pretty much finishes up this chat window here. Now, uh, we do need to do one more thing in order to get the graphs, you know, and I'll get ready for uh, the graphing on the graphs and, you know, all of that. Uh, so the one thing is going to be going into first our main game instance. So in my case, uh, and you may not have a similar thing, but I created one called main GI. And my main GI is just going to contain this thing called... So I'm going to add a custom event. Make sure to do this in your in game instance, so you want to have it there. That's where I put all my stuff. Um, you know, you manage all your things inside of your game instance. So I, I have a main game instance. You should too, I think. Uh, as your manager for all this stuff for the players things you could use the player control I think but I prefer this and this is what I use so uh, I'm gonna do launch chat and that's gonna be the custom event it's pretty much going to be the same as all of these but I will not copy and paste it because I like doing this so yeah we're in an is valid and if it is, if this condition doesn't evaluate to valid, we're going to create a widget. I've gone over this in previous tutorials. This is just the construction of a widget, pretty much. So get player. Oh shit! Uh, wrong. Get player controller. So we're gonna get the player's controller, and then we're gonna have to select a class for this. And um, the class is gonna be chat log. So essentially, we're just going to be setting up our chat log, getting an instance of it for this project, all of that good stuff. So now that that's set up, we want to promote it to a variable so later we can configure things in it. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Variable is going to be called chat UI. And, um, you know, we're going to add this to the viewport. So that um, it's visible and then if this is valid we're going to also add it to the viewport uh, and this is going to be really important here but you need to go in and you need to um, get chat UI now the variable you've created and put that there uh, and the reason for this is this chat UI variable is a uh, chat log so essentially what you're doing is you're getting the chat log variable you've created and you're saying you know did I create this already and if you didn't create it you're creating one and then setting that variable to equal to it so it doesn't repeat and then you're going and you're adding it all to the viewport um, and you know this player instance just identifies it as that player's object so now that we've done that uh, the one thing you're going to notice is if you play your level Okay, guys, so I resolved the issues I was having, uh, not, nothing to do with the project itself, so no modifications need to be made, I was just having some issues with the blueprints I had written, written, uh, for the previous project interfering, because obviously I deleted some stuff that I didn't need, so, uh, this is pretty much working, as you can see it did add this send thing at the bottom, and the scroll box is there, you just can't see it right now. So, yeah, that's that's working perfectly. So I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed part one of the chat tutorial series for Unreal Engine. Uh, I'll see you later.